smart. You're so beautiful. Thank you. Now you're making me blush like a teenager. You the drug levels with teenagers. <laughs> Oh gosh, this meeting is really happening. Babe, you're gonna come and see me after you've received the clothes, right? Because we have to do dinner tonight. Yeah, sure. Okay. And um, thank you so much for the clothes. You're welcome. So I will see you soon, okay? Bye. Take care. Take care. Good day, Ma. Good day, Ma. Hello. Have a seat. Thank you. So what do we have? Because I'm honestly not happy about this meeting. Why are they talking as if they have options? They do, Ma. How? They're talking to another marketing communication company. But they're not supposed to do that. How did you find out? Ma, my sister works with a marketing communication company. I also discovered that they have a brand new Twitter and Instagram handle that they're running a company on by the marketing communication company. So we think they're either testing this new company or they've engaged them already. Wow. Well, you know what? Just keep monitoring them, okay? Just in case we have to go after them, we would have enough, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right, then. Yes, ma Thank you. Mm -hmm. Larry, hi. I hope you're good. Listen, I'm calling to tell you in person that if you try to ignore our contract agreement, I will come after you in ways that will shock you. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure you don't know what I'm talking about. Just keep talking to that new marketing company that you have, that you're talking to, and keep running that campaign you're running on your new social media handles. Have a good day. Imagine these bozos. Hello, sir. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, sir. So, um, how many are this? 20, sir. Oh, nice, nice. Sir, you're sweet. Yeah. Thank you. Have a sir. nice day. You too. What did he say when you told him? He tried to deny it, but I didn't even give him the chance to say anything. Why is Larry behaving like this? Ever since his brother handed him over the company, he has been trying to wriggle out of agreements, all the agreements we signed with them. But he can't now. He can't. We have delivered services over millions. So if he wants out, he would have to pay us back all that money. <laughs> he can't be. And so he's not leaving. He's not going anywhere. <sighs> Have you tried speaking with his brother, Ernest? That one. I've been trying to call him for months now, but I've not been able to get hold of him. You know, he relocated to Canada with his family. Uh, I think he changed his number. You know what I'll do? I'll, I'll send him an official email. But before I do that, I would have to have tangible evidence about everything his brother is doing. Doing business with Ernest was easy and seamless, but this is brother. He's just a tout. And now he's in charge. You know, he got mad at me this morning. During the meeting? Yes. I just sat there at the conference room, just watching him go on and on and on about how he doesn't think it's necessary to form new alliances and this and that. And I was like, wait, what is this guy on about? Hey. Hello. William, my secretary didn't tell me you were coming. Yes, I, I asked her not to. Okay. Oh, um, Esther, this is um, <clears throat> my, uh, my cousin, 
William. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. How are you? I'm very well. And you? Not bad. Okay, so I'll leave you two to talk. Okay. Um, I'll talk to you later. Sure. It was nice meeting. You. Same here. I'm so sorry. I'll just wait for you in the car. I'm so sorry. You're only sorry whenever you introduce me to your friends. That's because I don't know how else to introduce you. How about the truth? William. I've already explained to you how hard that is right now. And keep your apologies to yourself. Sorry. Can we at least talk? Please. We have nothing to talk about. Babe! What are you doing here? I'll be sleeping here. Baby, why are you doing this? Doing what? I've already explained to you why I cannot let anybody know about us. Explain to me again. Because I'm finding it very hard to understand you. Baby, they will scrutinize you and that will hurt me. Let them scrutinize me. What's the worst thing they would say? That I am broke? You clothe and feed me? Or that I'm young and therefore a gold digger? Let them say well, it. I will not be able to handle it, William. Because it doesn't look good on you. For someone like you, you, you need a man that is rich and classy. That is what is expected. But that's not your reality. Renee, you say you love me. I do. Then tell them who I am and stop making me your cousin that I'm not. William, once I do that, the news will go around and you will not believe how they'll spin it. Then forget it. Come on, William, don't be like that. And don't... Shut the door. William, open the door! William!
Good morning. Morning. Do you want me to make anything special? No, I'm fine. Are you still upset with me? No, I'm good. Come on, William, you're not even looking at me. Because what I'm reading here is very important. Who's that? Esther. Hello, girl. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. I know you were not expecting me, but I bring good news. Really? What's the apple? Don't worry. Let's go and sit first. I can't wait. <laughs> Have a seat. How are you, Williams? I'm good. And you? Good. What's up? Tell me. Yeah, your cousin has to excuse us first. Oh no, you know we can just It's fine. I'll just give you two space. No. Seriously, we can just go to the room and talk. No need. Anyway, anyway. <clears throat> guess. What? Tell me. Guess now. I can't guess. Okay, is it? It's cool. Chris is back. Chris is back. Wait. <laughs> yes, Chris is back and divorced. It's a lie. Ah, uh, I say Chris is back. It's easy lie. And divorced. She had to that marriage will not work. That girl just literally took him away from you. Well, not exactly. Okay. He was going to choose you. Remember? Yeah, but that didn't happen. But I told you that he was going to choose you at a dinner party. That girl just came and forcefully you know, first herself on him romantically. But at the end of the day, he married her. Yes, that's because he and her family have been trying for 10 years to get them married, which of course didn't work out. And besides, you made it worse by telling him to go to hell in front of everybody. Of course, I was hurt. It's been five years, five good years. And he's been married for two years, so technically, he's been divorced over a year ago? Yeah. Wait, how do you know all this? He called, and guess who he was asking of? Renee. Renee. Really? <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> he asked up to you. But I didn't tell him anything much because I haven't spoken to you. I don't know what to say. I know it's surprising, but your man is back. Wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm shocked. But you should be happy. Come in. You know, Esther and I could have just gone in and had the conversation in the room. You know that, right? I doubt that would have worked for Esther. And why do you say that? Esther is one of your friends that always try to remind me that I'm just your little cousin. <laughs> Only if she knows. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you know that too much apology gets you eaten at some point, right? I guess I'm just gonna let you be by yourself then. I'd appreciate that.
Mm. <sighs> I didn't be now. I am not okay at all. No say go talk to I never get back to you on that matter. Yes, now. You suppose don't get back to me. It's in this all. Bro, she never click. No, I need to start ending as soon as possible. I need to start up something. Bro, you have to give me some time. I don't have time. I, I need to start getting money as soon as possible. Bro, floating your company this period is it's, it's not easy. Guy, jungle rough. So what would you have me do? Sit around and do nothing? Just yesterday, I don't go like 18 interviews. Nothing still so. Baba, you and I know, see, we don't try this interview stuff. We don't try the whole employment thing. It's not working. It's a no-no. That's why I said, if seven of us can come together and put our resources together, you know, we'll probably be able to start businesses. But gathering everybody together is taking forever. I need to start making my own money. I need to start doing something. <laughs> what is funny? Why are you laughing? Guy, you that everybody wants to be like you're complaining. Why would anyone want to be like me? Dude, you literally live in a beautiful house. In one of the best neighborhoods. You wake up beside a damsel who's so beautiful and pays all your bills and still calls you baby on top of that. You be star boy normally, bruh. Only if you know how much I'm not a fan of that. And why is that? You mean, I need to make my own money. I, I, I need to start doing something, pay my bills myself, take care of my woman, and get the respect I deserve. <laughs> Baba, now, sense of responsibility, and I ain't gonna kill you. Girl, you too like respect. Eh? Bro, why can't you just relax and be taken care of? Anybody that wants to insult you should go ahead and insult you, as long as your woman loves you and she's ready to, you know, roll and keep you, you know? Guy, I want more than that. You actually don't have the real qualities of a playboy. I mean, all the things where they teach you, which you they carry out do. Nonsense, fine boy. I beg, free me, I beg. Okay, well, no wahala. You want to float your own company, Abi? Go ahead. Now you go suffer this suffer because the way they see you normally, you know they like if you collect better money from your from your woman. So go and go ahead and float. Float us. Now you go suffer. No, just day there now. Do you want to take responsibility of everything, Abi? See sugar it is spit out of your mouth. How do I get you, my guy? You've never stayed all this late. Um, I, I had to see a friend of mine. Which one? Why are you asking? I'm just asking. I went to see Yumi. Yumi? I don't remember him. Because you've just seen him once. Here. I want you to have this. What is that? Just take a look at it. Why are you giving me all this money? I, I never said I needed money. You've never said you wanted money. You've never said you need money. I just thought you should have something for whenever you want. Thank you. Thank you. I want you to be happy, William. Really. Thank you. Yes, I have a meeting. A meeting? With who? And where? I'll tell you all about it in due time. I, I have to go now. So when will you be back? I'll call you. That's it? 
No hug, no kiss, no nothing. Babe, what's going on? How? What do you mean how? You left the money I gave you. You have given me a lot already. So are you saying you don't have any need for me now? I, I do, but I have collected enough from you. What about your personal bills? How are you going to pay that? I'm good. So this place that you're going to, is the driver taking you? I already ordered a um, taxi, so I'm going out to meet him. William, we can't be like this. Please, please, please. Can, can, can we not do, talk about this? I need to concentrate. Have a good day. And you too. I love you. I'll see you later. What is this surprise you have for me? Wait for it. Well, I'd like to be prepared first. Well, this one you cannot be prepared of. What are you talking about? Come on, Esther, tell me, please. Calm down now. Talk, Joe. Okay. Is that this point? Mm -hmm. I think you should get the door. I should get the door? Mm -hmm. Did a bell ring? I didn't hear it. Just go and get the door. You, I don't trust you. Hi. Chris. Hello, gorgeous. Oh, gosh, I'm going to kill this stuff. No, no, please don't. Please, I... I pleaded with her not to talk. She gave you my address without telling me. I begged for it. Okay. I did. My God, you... You look so good. Thank you. You're welcome. Come in. All right. Have a seat. Thank you. Esther, this is not funny. Our relationship is over. Well, babe, no vex, no. <laughs> Chris, um, what can I offer you? Anything. Just, okay, give me a drink. Just, the drink would be nice. Sure. I'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you very much, Esther. Mm. Forward. I'm just glad you're back. At least you can pick up from where you, you know, left off. Amen. <laughs> Amen to that. <laughs> oh, goodness. She's so <clears throat> beautiful. I know. Oh, God. Never aged. <clears throat> Here you go. Is this okay? Very okay. Thank you. Um, come in. I come. Come in. Um, let me I introduce you to. So, um, William, this is um, Chris. 
my friend. Chris, this is um, my cousin. Hello, William. How are you? Fine. Nice to meet you. Same here. Good. How are you, William? I'm fine, honey. Excuse me. Sure. What? Oh, God, you, you look gorgeous as always. <laughs> you never age. Thank you, but pff, look who's talking. You haven't aged. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is yours. <laughs> so, uh... So glad to see you again. I'm glad to see you. <clears throat> you were mine. I can't think any other. Your love like no other. And I love... Yes. I mean, can we really talk? I think I know what you want to say. And I'm tired of hearing it. William, I'm really, really sorry. Exactly. I'm tired of hearing that. Please, can it stop? I really need to focus. Well, can I at least spend the night here with you? I'd love to be by myself. For how long? At least for tonight. William, come on. I'm sorry. Really, I am. William. I try to fall, but it doesn't feel right. You're in my mind every other time. I want to be a part of you. So I made it just the way you like it. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you want me to sit it there? So what are you working on? For now, I can't tell. William, look. I know you really want to get a job, but listen, I could talk to my friends and some of my partners to see if there's any opportunity in their company for you. I am not interested. I don't have to tell them you're my cousin. Yet. What do you mean yet? Because I know one day we'll all be together in one space and you will make that introduction, so no. And because of that, I shouldn't help you. I'm already working on something. Go ahead and take your call. I'll just excuse you. No, no, no. Stay. It's Chris. <clears throat> hey, Chris. How are you, beautiful? I'm good. How are you? Not bad. Not bad. So I called to invite you over for dinner. Really? Yeah. So your place on mine? Wait, what? Why are you sounding shocked? Did you say... My place? Yes, or mine. Um, well, okay. We could... My place is fine. Oh, uh, fine. So, 7 p.m., yeah? Perfect. All right. I'll see you soon. Sure. He wanted us to have dinner at his house, but I decided it was best we had dinner here. You don't have to explain anything to me. I'll stay away. No, come on. We always have dinner together. He can join us. I don't mind. Or whatever you say. What about the food? 
Oh, come on, get it. William. Hi, Renee. Renee? Really? Uh-huh. I'm getting you ready for your role play this evening. Come on, stop it. There you go. I didn't know. Chris, hi. Doing? I'm good. good. I brought you this. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Hello, William. Hi. How are we doing? I'm good. good. Welcome to our home. Thank you. Thank you. Shall we? Yeah. Okay, let's dig in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, the aroma of this food is amazing. Thank you. Every part of you, every part of you. But with time, I became really unsure. And I really don't know if I'll be a fool to let it go. I tried to move on, but it doesn't feel right. Really, you're perfect. <sighs> Come on, nobody's perfect. But thank you. You're welcome. Trust me, what cannot describe you? <laughs> yes, my cousin is very incredible. <laughs> yeah, she is. She is. Is she your maternal or paternal cousin? <clears throat> um, is it maternal and be paternal? Which one is it, Renee? Huh? Um. Are you trying to say you don't know how you relate really to her? Of course, it is maternal. Can't you see how much we look alike? You know what? Just ignore him. We are maternal oh. related. Yeah. Ah, okay, Ugh, that's nice. Maternal cousin. <laughs> yeah. This food is nice. Thank you. Every part of you. Every part of you. But with time. I became really unsure And I really don't know If I'll be a fool to let it go Hey babe Hi cousin William, just stop, okay? Renee, please Leave me alone Can you at least just come to the room? Which room? This is my room now what are you talking about? I am not interested in sharing a room with my maternal cousin. William, stop, okay? What you're doing is not fair. Not fair? All I'm asking is for you to understand. That's it. I don't have the capacity to understand why you're forcing me to play this role. I, I have played it for a long time and I'm officially tired of it. I am not ready to introduce us, to introduce you. Then don't introduce me at all. But how are we going to be together if we can't be seen together? Don't worry, I'll take care of that. And what exactly do you mean by that? William. <clears throat> Why are you looking at me like that? Which kind of person you be? Talk now. Uh, it's fine. No wala. Anyways, the rent is six months away, but it's 1.8 M. We pay 10K for light monthly. And 5K for water bills, 5K for waste. Okay, um, can I start with um, the other bills before the house rent? No wala, my guy. Alright, thank you. I'll, I'll move in tomorrow then. <laughs> but honestly, you don't cease to amaze me. I say you know they like enjoyment or you don't really like her as you claim to. I am not claiming anything. I love her. 
Well, I can't be who she's trying to make me be. I need to leave there so that I can focus and I'll also give her space to find out what she truly wants. I'm, I'm, I'm not that type of guy that just sits and take and take. I... Don't worry, don't worry, it's fine. I'll clean up the space for you. Yeah? Okay. All right. to stop crying. Why would I stop crying when you're abandoning me? I'm not. William, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I love you and I want you to stay. Rene, I... I love you. And you mean so much to me. Then please stay. Please. No, I can't. Figure things out. Stay here and figure it out. I can help you. That's the point. I don't need your money. I want to pay my bills myself. I, I, I want to find a way no matter how hard it is. So where is this place? I'm sorry I can't tell you. Why not? Because I don't want you to come there. Is it a girl's place? No. I can never do that to you. I love you so much, but I have to go. I miss you too. Can we have dinner? No, we can't. We can't have anything? No. Why? I love you. Me too, but I, I need to work now. Oh, you can't talk some more. No, I have to go. Babe. Take care. Okay. Bye. Bye. Guy, you really love this girl. Yeah, I love her. But it takes love and other things for a relationship to work. But she has other things now, yeah? Foolish boy. I beg, free me. You're just fresh for nothing, this man. Wait till they even press for that laptop. I beg, I beg, free me. Wait till they press for that laptop when you serve it now. Yeah. Hard worker. frank with you. Okay, I, I... I just want more than coming here and having a nice chat with you. Okay, I... I want us to commit to something very serious and exclusive. Chris, you know what happened five years ago? 
I know. Five years ago, I didn't have the balls to walk away from a relationship that was arranged by my family. Okay, I, I entered into it with my heart not being there, but I was so stupid enough to go through it. Very stupid, but... You don't have any idea how happy I was to realize that you're still single. Oh, that doesn't mean I'm just sitting there and waiting for you. Of course, of course. It's, it would be so foolish of me to think that you've been waiting for me after I walked out of us. It would be so foolish of me. But trust me, I have never stopped loving you, Rene. Never. Okay, I was too embarrassed to contact you after my divorce, but I couldn't help it anymore. Um, I don't know, I just, um, I need to, I need some time to think, you know, some time to be clear on something. Okay. Whatever it takes, I, I will. I can't think any other, your love like no other, and I love every part of you. Every part of you. But with time, I became really unsure, and I really don't know if I'll be a fool to let it go. I try to be fun, but it doesn't feel right. You're in my mind. I wanna be a part of you. Why on earth are you not saying yes to him? I just want to be sure first. Sure about what? He left me. He didn't leave you. You told him to go to hell. Well, he told me about what his family made him do. And he didn't have the balls to fight them. He told you because he wanted you to support him. Or give him a reason to fight for him. But you just stormed out angry. I was hurt. He was too. I mean, he tried reaching out to you several times, but you shot him out. Now this same guy is back, still in love with you. I mean, he fought his family finally and walked out of the marriage. So why are you wasting time claiming what's yours? I don't know. I'm just... I'm not the same girl of five years ago. What are you now? That's the thing. I don't even know how to explain it to you, but... I just feel like I need some time. <laughs> sure, take all the time in the world. You know that Chris will not be single for long, right? Women still see him. Uh, uh, you were mine. I can't think any other. Your love like no other. And hey. Every part of hey. Are you okay? Yes, I am. You? I'm, I'm doing good. William, I want to tell you something. Okay, I'm all ears. I didn't tell you about Chris, but he's the guy I was with until five years ago. What happened between he and I is exactly what's happening between you and I. How so? We wanted to be together, but his parents wanted him to be with another woman. And he chose her? Why, why are you telling me this? Because he's left her and has returned. And? <sighs> William, it means that he asked me out. So? And I'm going to say yes to him. 
Are you, are you saying yes because you still love him? No. But love would happen later. What makes you think so? Because I was once in love with him. Look, I'm telling you this because I'm going to be moving on. <laughs> Renee, do you love me? Yes, William, I love you. I love you so much, but... <sighs> But look at how hard it is for me to even talk about you to anyone else. I don't want that for me or you. So, it's the perfect picture. No. Look, the kind of love you showed me and I have experienced with you will forever be cherished in my heart. But I have to move on, William. I'm sorry. Rene, baby. Babe. No. No! No, no, no! Okay, what's up now? What's the problem? What's it with that? Rene just broke up with me. She said she's going back to her ex. I, I need to go there now. No, 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 no. no calm down, bro. Calm down. Look. The person that she's going back with is most likely going to be there with her right now. And I'm sure she has weighed her pros and cons before she decided that this is the best decision. Just calm down. So I am not perfect for her? That's not, that's not the question, bro. What I'm trying to say is that if she has made up her mind, there's nothing you can do about it. And besides, bro, you can't go seeing her in this condition. You have to calm down, be a man, bro. And the last time I checked, you said you don't want to go back there because that place makes you unhappy. You have, not, you have not been able to achieve what you're pursuing. So you can't go back to where it makes you unhappy. Chill, bro. I can't lose her. I can't lose her. Bro, you're going to go get your woman when you're ready. Okay? What if it's too late? then maybe she's never really the one meant for you. I mean, why is she even going to say yes to another person in the first place? <sighs> chill, bro. Chill, man. Chill, chill, chill. Bro. You guy, don't cry. How you, how, you, how you gonna cry for a woman? Chill, my guy. Chill, 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 chill. Chill. Relax, relax, man. Relax. <sighs> Take it easy. Take it easy, fam. Guys, stop this thing now. Why you gonna cry like this? I won't make I even cry with you. I will not go through what... Rene, I will not hurt you again. I promise you. Okay, I know you caught me off because you had expected me to be strong enough for us. I know. You were hurt. And if you wouldn't want to listen to anything I say now, I understand. But please, I beg you, it's in the past now. Okay, let's... Let's have this moment. Let's enjoy this moment. Let's utilize it and enjoy the love that we share. I shouldn't hold back when it comes to you. My SMS made you excited. <laughs> I'm so happy. Like, this is what I've always wanted for you for so long. Well, it's finally happening. Congratulations. Thank you. So, you know, now what we have to do is start picking up wedding gowns. You know, you know that it can happen anytime, like, more faster than you can imagine. Well, don't be too sure. I don't understand. 
what's going to be the delay? Nothing. I mean, you both are matured. You're ready. You've always wanted him. He has always wanted you. Besides, Chris is comfortable. And you're not boss now. So money is not a problem here. Mm. I'm sorry. I don't even see any delay. He's there? No. Okay. Let's do this. Let's start picking our colors. Hey, 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 hey. Slow down. Okay? Uh-uh. <laughs> Why? Which color do you want? <laughs> okay, maybe purple. Hmm? You don't see it. Uh-uh. You don't see it? Uh-uh. Okay. For what? For your dress or for the... Yeah. Rene? Hey. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. No, I don't think so. What's really going on? You don't look happy. I am. I'm just a little exhausted. It's been quite an intense week. Sorry. It's okay. Okay. I think you'll be fine. Thank you. So, um, do you want anything? Um... What do you mean? Why are you wearing glasses? Because I'm just coming from under the sun. Oh, you're not under the sun, are you? What happened? Renee? What happened? I couldn't help but cry this morning. What made you cry? Esther, I've been lying to you. About? About William. What about William? He's not my cousin. I knew it. I just knew it. You know, you, you always act different around him. So are you dating? Yes. Renee, he's a small boy. Wait, not exactly. He's 32. And you're 40. Look, we're not the kind of girls to date sugar boys. I know we said that, but from the first day I met him, Esther, there was something different about him. He seemed so mature. I mean, I didn't even think he was 32. I thought he was maybe like 36 or 38 until he told me his age. Which is the reason why I should have stayed away from him. I know. But, Esther, the way he makes me feel is different. Yes, the way he talks to me, the way he treats me, I could go on and on and on. What does he do? 
Well, he's in between jobs and he won't let me help him. <laughs> Strike number one. No job. But he's very smart. Where does he leave? Okay, so I asked him to move out of his apartment and move in with me. Months after he released the house to the landlord. Strike number two. Homeless. Come on, don't say it like that. Renee, no matter how rich you are, you cannot be the breadwinner of your home. Not because you can't, but because the men of our generation will not allow it. Look, any man that cannot pay his family bills is a lazy fool that will just trust your life. Look, you can support, but you cannot allow yourself to be the breadwinner. But he's working hard. At this age, Renee, you need a stable man. What kind of relationship would you even be having? Feeding a man, clothing a man, housing a man. Look, you can't allow yourself to be too emotional, to think objectively. I guess you're right. It takes more than love. It does. And Williams isn't the guy for you. In a day and night, you walk like this. Oh, my brother, I need this. Bro, you, you're supposed to collect small rest, though, guy. Hmm. What's the rest I need now? Penny for your thoughts. Are you okay? Yes. Yeah. Are you okay that I'm here? Of course. Yes. You don't look excited as you used to be. Well, I'm getting there. Uh, it's fine. I was thinking about a couple of things, yeah. Okay. What? Can I ask you a few questions? Sure. Ask. Would you like to purchase this house? Well, it's, it's actually something that I've been thinking about. Great. So, um... Mine or yours, which do you prefer? Wait, which of your houses? Um, any of them on the island. I only know two. Okay, I... I bought another one two years ago. Oh, that's nice. Well, um, I only know of two of your houses, so I guess if I see the third one, I'll be able to tell. In comparison of this house? Come on. You know I'm sentimentally attached to this house. Well, you can make over any of the houses however you want. Okay. Wait, why are we talking about houses? I'm, I'm just thinking. Thinking? What? I'm so happy to be here with you. Chris. I'm equally happy to have you here. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Oh, great. Uh, do you want to eat out? That would be a bad idea. Good. So, um, let me go in there, get my phone, and make some reservation, then we'll go. Sure. Okay. How do you sound? But it doesn't feel right. You're in my mind every other time. I want to be a part of you. Oh, 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 oh,
Why? What's your problem now? Eh? You pace inside in Norwich. You can't see the pace for outside. I just need to talk to her. That's all. What do you want to tell her? Why will I tell you what I want to say? What do you know I'm doing normally? Tell me so that I can tell you it's not necessary already because I know say you know good deal necessary. She needs to know that I still love her. Trust me, she does. But it doesn't matter. What do you mean? Maybe she break up with you. Because I wasn't there. Do you need to attach yourself to her hips or to her butts before the relationship can work? You mean you're mocking me? Dude, I am not mocking you. Like, I know I'm usually very playful, but this is me being very serious. Guy, she broke up with you and... Okay, look at it. You're trying to call her and her number is not going. It's obvious she has blocked you. But you know these things, you just don't want to believe it. You're trying to convince yourself otherwise. Mm -mm, that's not true. Renee can never block me. She can't. Hey, wow, well, Jesus Christ. She obviously has blocked you. She's fighting it. She's trying to move on. Can't you see the picture? I did not move out for her to move on from me. <sighs> Bro, there are some things you cannot control. Stop distracting yourself. You're letting your emotions get the best of you. I love her. I, I love Renee. No doubt. But you're definitely not the kind of person that wants her to feed you for the rest of your life. So be the man you're meant to be, and when you're ready, go get your woman. Won't that be too late? Then again, like I said, if that's too late, then she was never the right person for you. Besides, if senior woman is your spec, they fool everywhere. You mean, do you think this is a joke? Bro, look, I have never been this serious all my life. I'm serious, man. <sighs> Bro, stop doing this to yourself, man. Listen, Larry, you don't have to be present or be in charge to honor an agreement. I have had a solid five-year working relationship with your brother. Well, the fact that you've taken over, the fact that you're in charge now, does not change anything. <sighs> because of that agreement, we've had to deliver projects and campaigns worth millions, Larry. Okay, I'll be waiting. What's up, babe? I did, Jerry. I'm guessing that was Larry. That's him, all right, the asshole. What does he want this time around? Can you imagine just spewing rubbish that the contracts, the agreement we have together is not binding forever? Is he all right? Can you imagine? I don't even know if that guy reads because that contract is very airtight. I mean, if he tries it, trust me, he'll pay through his nose. Don't worry, he won't even try it. Oh no, let him try it. That'll be giving me a holiday on time this year. <laughs> Better holiday. <laughs> anyway, what's up? Um, how open is your evening today? Um, well, I don't know what Chris is planning, but he sent me a message just a short while ago asking for me to keep my evening open. Why, what's up? Mm. I thought I could drag you to come see an apartment with me. An apartment? Where are you moving? Don't I'm, you love your place? I'm buying this one. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm even paying instrumentally. Even at that, that is such good news. You know, Chris and I were talking about the same thing. Yeah, buying a house together. He actually even asked me to choose between mine and his house. You and Chris are already talking about housing. Mm -hmm. He's thinking forever. Oh, come on. Stop being dramatic. I'm telling you now. I hear you. Look at your dinner. Maybe this time around they'll put a ring on it. Can you stop with the drama? <laughs> really, stop. Ah, sorry. you. I'm be going before traffic starts building. When do I thought I could drag you? I'm sorry. Eh? Sorry, Ken. Okay. Oh. No need for sorry. Yeah? You deserve TLC, so go and get some. I'll call you. <coughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>
Hey, sweetheart. Hey. What's going on here? I'm at dinner. You know, I tried to make some of the meals I learned how to cook. You know, trying to see if I would make you happy. Chris, you're trying so hard to make me happy. It's important to me. And I appreciate it. Great. So, um, why don't you go upstairs, change and come let's enjoy this wonderful meal. Okay. Just give me five minutes, okay? Yes, yes, yes. I am the one speaking. Really, when? Okay, I'll, I'll just um, check my email and get back to you. So, wh when am I supposed to come in? Oh, tomorrow. All right. Okay, I will. Do you know what I was thinking about when I was changing? Tell me. Chris, I want to be happy. I've decided to let go of whatever fear or feeling of loss that I have and just embrace what we have. You have no idea how happy this makes me now. Thank you, Renee. Sure. Cheers. Cheers. So are they giving you the contract? Oh, no. That's what their email says, but mm. they need to see me to finalize. Maru, hey guy, I always knew there was something about this my house. So you did here, come hammer this kind of contract, <laughs> man. How much are they talking about? Um, I don't know yet, um, but I'll have the details when I'm back. Hey, so wish for... me luck. No, no, I got you. Collect now, collect my guy. Thank you, my brother. Okay. Sure for you die. See ya. Break a leg, fam. How do I look? Well, not bad. <laughs> My guy. I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. Mm. Rene? Um, she's not back, but I guess she's on her way right now. Oh, okay. Don't worry, I'll wait for her. Good. Well, it'll be moving better to talk to you about her while you wait. Okay. Mm. I need you to do me a favor. Shoot. You know, I like where Rene and I are now. She's started to see us as she would. This is good news. I'm happy to hear. Go thank on, go you. on. Thank you. So, um, I want to take the opportunity you know, to move things to the next level. So fast. As in, okay, this is good. So, I need you. You need me for what? Good. Look, I want you to help me check on her. Find out if she's ready for this or not, and I want you to do it perfectly. Why are you sounding like you're scared? No, I'm not. I just want to make sure that we've gotten there. Okay, so you want me to find out and let you know? Exactly. Okay, I can do that. That's good. Now that um, we've got that, what can I offer you? 
Now, now you remember, say so you go go find me something, Abby. Okay, that is how they call. You get something for it. I go. Hi, Exa, how's it going? Not bad. Half a half a tell me, talk to me. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Esther. I'm very grateful, okay? You're welcome. So, when are you planning on doing this? Okay, I need to quickly get something done, okay? And how long will it take? Mm, maybe a day or two. Because I'm, I wanted to be a surprise to her. Oh, okay, great. Um, because I want to be part of the plan. That's why I asked. Sure, I'll let you know, okay? Thank you very much, Esther. Um, you don't know how grateful I am. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Guy, you are choking me with this information, man. What are you saying? You and me, I beg. Please, don't start with your drama. Guy, there's no drama anywhere, bro. I want to take you to see the place. No. See what place? Guy, you're whining me, Abby. Wait, so you know they hear everything I've been done, they tell you? Hey, bro. Should I hear you do the work, Abby? And so? Hmm. At this same place, you can't get the contract. Mm -hmm. And you're trying to tell me that you're already big. <laughs> such that you have a place, you are... I'm a guy. I don't die for you, guy. Let, let's just go. Guy, something is wrong, man. I, 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 there's something not right. What's wrong? Honestly. Maybe I should just look for someone to break my heart now. <laughs> yeah, or maybe I'll just start getting worried. I'm all, ah, this, ah. Start getting worried that the love of my life, which you know I don't have, is trying to leave me or something. I go, I go leave you go. <laughs> I, go, I don't do both. Chill. I'm thinking. Please, I'm, I'm just allow me to think. Ah, ah. So all those times you were just moving about up and down, doing calculating, just yeah, forming, yeah, pacing, yeah. pacing, pacing, pacing. You later yield there, right? Let's go. Meet me in the car, please. <laughs> Let us go, I beg. Guy, guy. Hey, he said I should meet you where? Car. I be cab. Uh, uh, you were mine. I can't think any other. Your love like no other And I love every part of you But with time I became really unsure And I really don't know If I'll be a fool to let it go I try to move on but it doesn't Hi Thank you You know I really could get used to this life I intend to keep it going. Thank you. You're welcome. So how's work? Oh gosh, you don't want to know. I had such a crazy day. I understand. You look so exhausted. I am exhausted. I'm very tired. I love you. Yes, I know I said that before, yet married another person. It's okay. No, it's not okay. It's not because I'm looking at your face right now. You are shocked. I am because I was not expecting it. Renee, we've been together for many weeks now. And trust me, you make me get so excited each new day. I, I want to keep loving you. Okay, I, I want to make up for those plans we had six, seven years ago. Chris, many of them have changed. I understand. Time changed. But we can't start up new plans. Yeah, of course. Rena, you make me happy. Chris, you make me happy too. How about I take you somewhere cool this evening? Really? Yeah. Oh, that would be beautiful. Great. Let me just um, go and get out of these clothes, okay? Perfect. I'll wait. Thank you. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. You were mine. I can't think any other. Your love like no other. And I love every part of you. Every part of you. Yeah. Your drink. Guy, leave me alone, Alberg. Guy, I'm deeply, deeply thinking deeply. Ha. Beg, pick your drink. What do you think? Bro! Guy! I want to shout your father. <laughs> now your house be this, bro. <laughs> like, it affects me emotionally, I'm not gonna lie to you. Guy! I don't tire for you. Uh -huh. I don't tire. Don't bro! Don't tire for you. What's it not you that was literally broken? Homeless the other day, man. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I was not homeless. <laughs> hey, I was not. Where were you? The place you were staying was your house. <laughs> okay, yes, I was homeless. Mm, I was homeless. No, but the issue is, look, whether homeless or not homeless, guy, I'm inspired. I'm motivated. Like, I can't forget how you were just working day and night, pushing so hard. And now this is it. I swear, it was really, really important for me to get here. I can say that again. So now you have here, what's next? I I want to see Renee. <sighs> Look, bro. I know it was your love for Renee that pushed you to work so hard and do all this and achieve all this in a very little space of time. But all I'm just going to advise you is no matter what happens, make sure you enjoy the fruit of your labor. I beg you, forget that talk. I am going to enjoy it with her. I can't tell you what to do. Good. But, bro, there's another issue. There's something that's really been bothering me. I was going to tell you about it. Mm. <sighs> What's that? Uh, the roof of my house is leaking. Uh, <laughs> hey, guy, just, just get out. Wait, make I talk. Finish I even think you won't talk Chill important. Now. Which house? Which house they leak? The same house I used to house your, house your hungry and homeless ass. No, I, I, I said I was not homeless. <laughs> Chill, make I talk. Uh, maybe you broke, but not oh, homeless. Okay. The roof of my house, they leak. <laughs> And as it be like this, I just want to move in with you. Just move in be, where? Might just stay no, this right place now. not for me and Rene. Guy. Don't move in, I beg. Um, uh, Rene don't chop you. We think it's soap, guy. <laughs> My guy has gone, man. You're not here. Yeah, you don't go. Here, you don't go. Hey, Jesus. I beg, take your drink. Wait, sir. I'm so sorry, ma'am. He kept insisting, saying he wants to see you. It's okay. Well, there. Hi. What are you doing here? I'm here to see you. I I've tried calling you severally, but I didn't. You blocked me. I had to. It's fine. I understand. How have you been? I've been good. I miss you. William, stop. How is Chris? Chris is good. We're still very together. <laughs> well, I... I want to take you to somewhere. Really? Where? Please, just let me take you there. I have to turn this in in the next 30 minutes. When? As you said, in the next 30 minutes. Okay. I'll wait. You wait. Yes. <sighs> okay. I have missed you. <sighs> William. With the way you're going, I won't be able to finish this, so... Okay, I'll just let you finish. Thank you. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. You, you have been quiet. Well, 
I'm just, I'm just wondering why I just followed you. I mean, I haven't seen you in a while. You just show up, ask me to follow you, and here I am following you. And now you have a car. Yes, I do. Let's just go. What is this? This is my house. Wait, what? I work with a company where I handle all their civil engineering contracts. You finally got a job. I did. And my contract is currently for 24 months and it will renew afterwards. Well, congratulations. Thank you. You know you inspired me. Really? How did I do that? Not wanting to lose you. So that's why you left? Yes, I... I needed to do it by myself. You must be very proud of yourself then. I am. I miss you. William, don't say that. Call me, babe. Please, don't make me do that. Please call me, babe. William. Please. There is no other person for me. Don't say that. Honestly, there is none. Chris is in my house, William. He doesn't matter. You left. To be back. see you beside me. I'm sorry, I just, I just wanted some time to be alone. Time to be alone? What's going on? Nothing. Renee, tell me. Chris, there's nothing to tell. I'm fine. Look, I've been here, okay, doing everything humanly possible to show you that I'm not going to leave you again. I know, and I appreciate it. Then what is the problem? There's no problem. You know, I... I see you switch in and out of emotions. Chris, I'll be fine. Look, I want you to be okay. And I'll be okay. So, can we go in now? Well... I still want to be here for a little bit. You go in. I'll come and join you. Okay. So, um, how many minutes? I'll be there very soon. All right, I'll be with you. Sure. I'm two minutes away. Look, I need to do this now. Where are you? Renee's place. How about Renee? She's getting ready. Are you leaving now? Yes, like, like now, like now. Okay, we're all good. Are you sure about this? Trust me. All right, we'll be there. Take care. You're welcome. Bye. Yeah, bye.
stuff. What's going on? Ray, sweetheart. Sweetheart, I consider myself the luckiest guy to have the opportunity of dating you twice. Oh my goodness, I thought I'd lost you forever. But luck shined on me. Please. I want to love you forever. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Will you? William. William, why would you just barge in like this? I did not meet anyone at the reception. Please, we're busy here. Leave. No, 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 no. William can stay. I am... I'm getting married to his cousin. She's not my cousin. What are you doing? I just told you I am not her cousin. Then what are you? I am the one she loves. Renee, what's going on here? What's happening? Chris, I haven't told you about everything. Look, you two can solve whatever issues you have. Renee, right now just focus on Chris, okay? Renee, I love you. And I know you love me too. Please, let, let me take care of you forever. My friend, will you stop that nonsense and leave? Stop what? We're both asking her to choose between us, so she decides who leaves. Rene, we have come a long way. Rene, remember how we were? The joy, the laughter, before the pressure of hiding who I am. Rene, you need all the stability you can get. Please, babe, say something and let this guy leave. Babe, that is what you call me. And, and, I, and I see the look in your eyes whenever you call me that. You, you don't know how happy I am to see how much I mean to you. Please, marry me. Renee. I need you to say something now. Chris, I'm sorry. What? I loved you long ago and I've been trying so hard to feel the same way since you came back. Renee, I love you. But a lot has changed, Chris. Renee, please think about this. Please. There's nothing to think about. I lay in bed with Chris the entire time and all I'm thinking about is William. Chris, the reason you've been working so hard to make me happy is because of the absence of William. Really? I'm Renee. sorry, but I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Renee, you don't care about me anymore. Don't say that. I had a life before you returned. If you do, why would you lie to me about, about who he is? Chris. I'm sorry, Chris. Excuse me. Chris. 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 I'm so Chris. You don't give up, do you? I love you so much to give up. Please, say yes to me and make me the happiest man alive. Yes. <laughs> I prayed for this day. I, I prayed not to lose you. You're never going to lose me. I love you so much. And I love you. <laughs> I'm taking you home. <laughs> I can't wait, and I'm so sorry I wasn't bold enough to introduce you. That's fine. That's all in the past. Today is the happiest day of my life. My wife. And mine too. My husband. <laughs> <laughs>